The Longhorns are getting a selfless team leader who is fantastic on the court and has been a UT fan, as she says, from the womb. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a Texas Longhorn. I didn't know how or what my plan was to get there, but that was always the dream. I played a lot of different sports growing up, but I always came back to basketball. By my junior year of high school, no Power 5 school had shown any interest, and I remember reaching out to my high school coach about what I wanted to do next. Like, you can, you're gonna go to Texas, say, mid-major, like, right now. You don't have to do anything extra, just keep doing what you're doing. Or do you wanna go to UT or Stanford, a Power 5 school? You need to make a decision. And then you, like, came in the next day and you were like, I wanna go to a Power 5. Lakes Shay Holly signed to play at the University of Texas today as she's been dreaming about this day since she was a little girl. A year later, I committed to Texas, fulfilling a lifelong dream for a coaching staff that made me feel like family. Announcing the university wouldn't be extending Karen Aspen's contract. But before I could even step foot on campus, that same staff had been fired in the midst of COVID-19. University of Texas researchers have detected a more contagious strain of the coronavirus. I felt so unsure about the future I had worked so hard for, and my teammates felt the same. It felt like the world was ending, <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> it, was, it was scary, like I was like, oh my gosh, like we're not gonna go back and Texas is gonna be so different. Because Texas has found its new women's basketball head coach, UT Vice President and Just a few days later, Texas announced Vic Schaefer as my new head coach. I didn't know him or his staff, and COVID-19 made that even more challenging. I feel really bad. I feel like we kind of neglected you guys. We probably should have been able to pour more into you. But yeah, it's hard to have a team when people don't truly know each other. And through COVID, like, that was really tough. Freshman year was a struggle, both physically and mentally. I was doing my best to adapt to this new level of basketball while still trying to be an academic weapon. I rode the bench my entire freshman year, but I learned a lot. I got to be a part of a team that went to the Elite Eight, and it was super inspiring, but I knew I had more to contribute. That summer, I grew a lot, but as season came around, I found myself right where I'd left off, on the bench. See, how would you describe your role? No matter what it looks like, I help the team as much as I can, whether that's in practice for game prep or actually getting more minutes on the floor. Although it was a challenging experience, it taught me the importance of consistency. I focused on my energy and effort every day in practice, and eventually the work paid off. But you're, you're really consistent the way you show up, the energy you bring to practice every day. and. You know, you're a true testament to just putting your head down and working and letting the work speak for itself. Halfway through my sophomore year, our team was in a slump. Before I knew it, I was given the opportunity to make my first career start. A six foot junior guard from Austin, number 10, Shay Holly! <laughs> Tell you, really, the Shea Holly in the starting lineup. You know, our team went on a 14 game winning streak with her starting opposite Joanne Allen Taylor. I thought Shea was much better today than she's been all year, but see, Shea's been practicing better. She's been getting better. She's staying in the, what I call, she's staying in the picture. After that game, I started the rest of the season. We won the Big 12 tournament and went to the Elite Eight again. Since I actually played this year, it just felt a little bit more special. My junior year, I took on a new role. Most of my teammates had graduated or transferred, and I wanted to take on the responsibility of leading this new group. The lessons I learned as an underclassman helped me teach them the importance of enjoying the process and just buying into our team culture. Shay <laughs> Holly is amazing, like just work ethic, motor, energy, like you have a joy about you that's unmatched one of the trailblazers of our culture here at Texas over the last three years and it's turned into you like this it's good healthy culture it's just there's not a whole lot of Shay Hollies in this world whether I was a freshman scared to get subbed in or a team captain leading a conference championship team basketball has taught me a lot of lessons taking it one day at a time and finding the positive in every situation has given me the confidence that I can take on whatever's ahead In just three short years, I was walking across the stage and graduating from the school I had always dreamed of. Thankfully, my story isn't done yet. I still want to add a few more rings to my collection, but for right now, I'm just focused on staying in the picture.